are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm a boulder. Well, I'm a trad climber. Can you spot? Yeah, I can probably spot. But can you belay? Let me think about it. Yes. Well, maybe we should climb. Let me think about it. Yes. Let's climb. But first. This is Noah Kane, and he spends most of his time playing with gear. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, track climbing. He mentioned to me that he doesn't boulder outdoors. So today we're going to take him bouldering. It's hard. It's really hard. I'm very excited to see Noah Kane climb at his limit. Also, be sure to check out the video we did over at Noah Kane's channel. He took me track climbing one. for my first time. See if that works. Yeah, I think it's like this stuff in here to use. All right, we're good. Oh man, it's so light. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I thought <laughs> I, I thought the pads were guy. really heavy, man. <laughs> no, they, All right. they were pretty light. <laughs> Noah, you ready for this? Yeah, man, I'm ready for this. I'm. I got way too much stuff, but I just, you know, we trad climbers, we like to be prepared. So, you know, you never know when we're just gonna need to send a, a, a five pitch route. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> let's 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 go Boulder. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I seriously just have my shoes in this bag, and that's probably the only thing we're gonna need out of it. But I just didn't want to like unpack it. <laughs> this guy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be strong enough to be ripping off any holds. So. Oh, dude, you're pretty strong, man. Do not underestimate yourself. That's true. Now, when we were at the gym, Noah mentioned this to me. I'm really excited for that because I feel like sometimes when I look at myself climbing, I'm like, you know, I'm not sure if it's awkward or not. But I like, I wish. I could climb smoother or like sort of have this grace. Yeah. And when I watch you climb, to be honest, you have that grace that I'm sort of looking for. So, oh, you know, maybe maybe I can so get a little nice. bit of it. You know, I feel like um, I look like a little bit of like a like a baby giraffe. You know, sometimes I'm trying to climb. I'm like just really tall and lanky. Dude, but baby giraffes are cute. <laughs> I mean, of course they're At cute. Least... I know I'm cute, but like, this guy. you know, are they smooth climbers? You know, maybe not. not. Really. Maybe not. Yeah. So that's the goal. That's yeah. The goal. So, now. So. This is great because we all want to climb gracefully, but how can you get to that point? Well, it starts off with the warm up. As a warm up, I don't just focus on climbing up. I actually focus on trying not to like over grip, readjust. Yeah. So things that I focus on is once I get a hold, I move on from it. Mm -hmm. Another thing is silent feet. So I incorporate silent feet. So then I incorporate silent feet and then I try to move as slow as I can. If I can get a heel, I'll get a heel on. Start reaching and then, and then just keep going up. Nice yeah. One of the things that I tell people that I climb with, if they want like any suggestions, is taking your warm up seriously really does help with your climbing, yeah. like drastically. Because how you climb when you're warming up, if you're warming up like this, like you're just like literally like just trying to stand, you're not, you're not, you know, that's how you're gonna climb too. So however you treat the climb when you're warming up, it's pretty much how you're gonna be climbing when you're projecting too. Focusing on your breathing really helps. Yeah. Right? Um, dude, but that was, that was great. Thanks. Man, you imagine you just like send everything I put you on? Damn. I don't think it's gonna <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start off with this climb called Potato Chip. It's a V2. And this climb is very focused on crimp, body positioning. And just because it's a V2, it doesn't mean it's going to be like, oh, so easy, you know? Yeah. So. The um, first YouTube video that I ever watched of Aussies, way back, like three years ago, by the way, was the one of you trying potato chip. No way. And it was you talking about how to better use crimps. So I'm hoping to use a little bit of the knowledge I gained in that video. To oh this my God, that's so I remember good. that video, man. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. I remember that video. Damn, now I'm even more excited to show you. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, let's get on it. Now, this is pretty awesome, and it's something that I just noticed right now. We climb this very similar, but Noah goes out left, and I go out right. But afterwards, we bring right foot out, then we go up one more, then left foot out, and then from here, we match. And we both prepare for a dead point, going out big. Oh, nice. Even this cross right here. 
Now, we ended up doing variations on this climb. We started eliminating holes and we started working on what we mentioned previously, which is silent feet, avoiding readjustment, and taking it easy. Go slow. It's so easy to make it a habit to do your warm up climbs really fast because, you know, you want to warm up your fingers faster, you want to warm up your legs faster, but your technique takes a hit if you rush it. I felt like great for my limit. <laughs> right. Dude, that was good though, that was good. It feels so good. I yeah. love this climb. Let's get this centering going, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're too good for this okay so we're gonna challenge you this climb is called Jonesen very technical heel hooks toe hooks big move and you have to commit at the top not only are we gonna challenge his strength but how he reads beta this is the perfect climb which is called Jonesen you could be strong enough for it but if you can't read the beta it's gonna be very hard really suggest to go through the holes like be very like very meticulous before. very meticulous it matters so much especially right. when there's multiple like a lot of moves see this arete yeah like where are you there's, gonna go there's so many to go yeah, yeah there's so many to go so yeah. it's nice to take it it made a huge difference once he decided which hand holds and footholds to use notice here he knew exactly where to place that right foot and left foot Now that he has it all figured out, nice. doesn't mean it's not gonna take any falls. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> <There we> go. <laughs> He's a boulder now. <laughs> yeah, man. What I would suggest there is uh, switch feet. Switch feet? Yep. Bring the right, right foot. Right yeah. All right, you guys, let's talk about our sponsor of today's yeah. video, Rungne. What I love most about their apparel is how versatile they are. They're great when I'm climbing at the gym, outdoors, or when I'm out on a date with Sophia. During this session, I was wearing the anchor pants, which are comfortable and flexible. These are one of my favorite. During the gym session, I was wearing the sloper t-shirt, which they've just upgraded. They have improved fit and a sturdier fabric. Be sure to check it out. Link in the description below, Rungne. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Our goal is not just about sending, but it's making progress. Yeah. But it's like pushing yourself to the limit and learning per move, per adjustment, per, you know, do a big move, keep the compression, like subtleties to improve on. See, at first, he couldn't do the first move. He was struggling with it. And now he seems a lot more controlled and focused. Sometimes we don't realize the progress that we make because we don't seem to be moving as much. But these small signs of improvement gets you closer to your send. <laughs> Noah, do you feel the progress? I'm feeling progress, even though distance wise, there is no progress. <laughs> but, distance? But like mastery wise, yes, progress. Yeah, and it's only getting better and it's gonna get easier for you, watch. <laughs> <laughs> From your first attempt to what you're doing <laughs> no, right now? No, it's so much better. Nice, Noah. Oh, good. 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 So good. So good. Damn. You're slapping it now. Closer, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. So today we're, we're at 
monkey bar. So we're gonna be working on a traverse. That's, you know, it requires endurance, good crimps and cut. And excited to see Noah on this one. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, so far we're getting a couple moves in yeah. and it feels good. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give it my, my best effort. All right, let's, let's get to climbing, you guys. Let's get to climbing. Now he got through the first portion pretty quickly, but this is the crux, crossing in. From here, he's fully extended with a tail hook, so it makes it very difficult. He's working with smaller crimps, so positioning really matters. When he's crossing in, he's trying to get a good hold on that crimp, but he's not giving up. He knows he can do this. I want to show Noah one of my projects, which is Monkey Direct. Right now, just based off of what I've done, I can tell it's going to be really hard to do it from the start. So I'd rather get really good on these single moves. Link these sections, pretty much go for the crimp and then do the bump. That's going to be my focus right now. So crimp and then bump, crimp and then bump. As I mentioned, I'm only focused on the second half of my project. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to get familiar with the movement, with the holds, with the big move, and build up that confidence that I can do this. Why bouldering? Um, I mean, I feel like everyone kind of dabbles in bouldering a little bit. I've dabbled in bouldering a little bit. I used to, you know, do V2 traverses on random boulders outside, you know, in Vermont where I grew up. Yeah. With no pads or anything. Oh, um, this guy, dangerous. <laughs> but but, I, but I, I have yet to like dive into bouldering uh, it, in the same level of like, uh, in such a profound level like you have. Yeah. And so, so I want to ask you why it means so much to you. Yeah, no, bouldering definitely means a lot to me. Like, I get, I'm so passionate. You know me, I'm so passionate about bouldering. Like, just the fact that it's a boulder and there's multiple climbers going through the same thing, trying to send this climb, multiple climbs, getting to the top. And, you know, trying so hard, being so dedicated, coming back, train, coming back and taking turns and encouraging each other. And there's like a lot of back and forth and you build this connection, not only with the boulder, but with the climber. Yeah, I know, I'm like. <laughs> My like second biggest passion out of cooking is, or outside of climbing is definitely cooking. Oh, me too. I love being at the stove, it's so fun. Yeah, Sophia and I love to cook too, man. It's Look at that. Ooh. I guess. This is well, so much nicer than using the the, with the camping stove we've been using in like the freezing cold in the dark as soon as the sun sets in here at like 5 p.m. We're like 6 p.m. trying to cook dinner and then we eat it by 7 p.m. And we're like, what do we do now? Well, I'm glad you guys came to the house, man. Thank you. This is awesome. Thanks for letting us use your shower. Yeah. I'm sure we still smell kind of bad. They're like, oh, thanks for letting me, we'll, we'll cook for you, Ozzy. I'm like, all right, all right. It sounds like a good trade. Sounds like a good trade. The thing with climbing too, with bouldering that I've learned is like, you're not always gonna be great at it. Just because you send a V3 one time doesn't mean you can always send all the V3s. And sometimes you take a step back in order to move forward. Now he's making progress. He's able to do the cross, go down right hand. But this is very impressive right here, the cut. That's Beautiful not enough. easy for him to control, but he's making progress. <laughs> what happened there? Just, I was like, pain, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Noah, you told me you were going to work past the pain. Dude, I know it hurts so bad. No, I'm such a softy. It's okay. The truth, it's so the confession, so it's coming out, guys. I'm actually a real softy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that. Oh no, no, I disagree. He's climbing at his limit. Yeah. I can tell. Trust me, I've been climbing with him for the past seven days. <laughs> Strong Noah. <laughs> Ozzy and I have known each other for like, or we've hung out for a total of like four days, you know, yeah. you know, uh, 72 hours or 80 something hours. And I feel like we're already like that close yeah. just because we're, you know, we're sharing this thing we love together. You guys are such a good climbing couple. Oh. You guys are, oh. Yeah. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I did. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Noah, it's so awesome climbing with you, homie.
pausing. It's Damn. been so good climbing with you too, man. Seriously. <laughs> this has been such a treat. Yeah. Esther, come here. Come here, man. You can't forget. Esther, can we get happy family? You guys, <laughs> you guys, can we get a group hug, please? We got, we got oh, mom and dad hug. and the boys. We need a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let me help you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Noah, you free April? Let me think about it. Yes. You want to climb? Yes.